your physical exam just got a high-tech upgrade. It's called Lab 100, and it's located at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. The goal of this kind of comprehensive testing is to help people feel better and prevent future disease. Lab 100 is a hybrid clinic and research lab where we're prototyping the clinic visit of the future. I got to try it out for myself. Before I even got to the clinic, I filled out a questionnaire so the doctor knew a little bit more about my medical history and my lifestyle. In this clinic, we really focused on basically taking everything that a normal doctor has to do in a normal setting, which involves them typing or writing notes or focusing on charting, and automate it. So virtually every piece of data that is collected is either done before the patient ever arrives in their own home or is done automatically. First on the to-do list, to take a photo that could be matched to my medical records. And after that, we went on to do a preliminary consultation with the doctor based on the information that I already provided. So your physical activity is great. Your sleep is poor, and it looks like it takes you some time to fall asleep at night, and your sleep efficiency is fair, which means that the time that you're in bed, you're not asleep. There are eight stations at the clinic. They checked my blood pressure first and took a little blood to measure my overall health. At each station, I watched a video explaining how the exam works and what's being tested. I'm learning right now about blood. About two million red blood cells are produced by the bone marrow every second, wow. The videos are part of the company's mission, which is to provide information for a healthy lifestyle and not just diagnose disease. If you go to your primary care visit, you have typically about 18 minutes, and most of that time is spent screening for, diagnosing, and treating disease. And that leaves us ill-equipped to talk to patients about their behavior and lifestyle factors, which we know are critically important. In fact, it turns out your behavior and lifestyle account for more uh, premature deaths than medical factors. Other stations tested my strength, balance, body composition, and cognition. Put up the tent, go for a hike, then catch a fish. Catch a fish. Now, you loop the pictures in the same way you saw them on the screen. Oh my god, I already don't remember. There's even a dexterity test. I'm going to show you your performance in your dominant hand in your right hand compared against our monthly high performer. Who is that person? They so much faster than me. They probably practice this all day long. After the tests, I met with the doctor to discuss the results and find out what I can do to stay healthy. Your balance uh, was low average, and we recommend physical activities that strengthen your core. These would be things like yoga, Pilates, balancing on a bosom ball. Uh, those are all activities that help your core strength and will improve your balance. Still, Lab 100 won't replace your family doctor. Potentially, it's a self-service kiosk or a stand in your local pharmacy, a way of getting a more uh, lightweight health assessment that provides a complement to what you would get from your primary care visit. My big takeaway? I walked away feeling really reassured that I'm generally doing well in terms of my health, although there are a few things that I could do differently to optimize my energy levels and longevity, like yoga. This program is still being tested at Mount Sinai, so it's early days. Where I'd love to see this go is to help high-risk individuals who could really use the added support, and a lot of that depends on price and access. Thankfully, the company's goal is to bring Lab 100 to anyone who needs it. The vision here is that we have something that essentially can be plugged in like your cable box. We envision a path where we have many, many of these Lab 100 type systems out in the world, but that they're all feeding into the same brain. 